Hi guys, guess where I am? I'm back at the Kimpton and welcome back to another vlog. So I'm picking up the camera, I have just checked in fresh off the tarmac guys and this room is insane i'm fully gonna give you a room tour because it's not even a room tour it feels like a huge apartment i feel like it's like two or three rooms so they are kindly gifting me this stay because i'm going to a fancy gala tonight and don't get me wrong this is not my usual kind of thursday i'm usually at home doing admin and in bed with a cup of tea and a face mask by 9 p.m but tonight I'm getting glam and I'm going out. So I'm staying over in London for the night at the hotel, of course. Just because of the logistics, it would have been too late for me to get back home. And it's always nice to kind of have a night away and get re-inspired. I've got some work that I also need to shoot in the room this afternoon. So I'm gonna get those campaigns hopefully wrapped up and ticked off the to-do list. So I'm sure you'll be seeing them soon over on Instagram and I'm also working on some over on TikTok as well. So a little behind the scenes of why I'm here too. But I've got a lovely dress to wear tonight. I'm actually excited to get a little bit dressed up, get a little bit glam and go out. So I'm here on my own at the minute and then my friend Chloe is going to come and join me. We're going to make a bit of a girl's night of it, get some room service, get a bottle of bubbles and have a lovely evening. So I'm actually going to the gala with Like to Know It. So if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, sorry, welcome to London. Here's the noise. I do not miss this. There we go. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, hopefully you do, you'll know that I always link my outfits majority of the time via Like To Know It. And you can also shop all of my outfits and home and beauty products, basically everything. All of like my Amazon favorites, I always link it through Like To Know It. So Like To Know It is an app. So you can download the app and just go on there and it's so easy. And there's loads of other creators on there. And it's really great for inspo. If you're looking maybe something for your home, you can just put in a keyword, search it, or you know, spring outfit, and it will come up. So I always create my shoppable edits, which I'll put on the screen here, every week to give you some outfit inspo for kind of occasions, or what's happening, or the new season. So I create all of my edits over there. I also link pretty much 99.9% .9 of my outfits over there, and all of my beauty products, etc., etc. So I will link my like to know it down below for you guys as well. But that is basically the plan for tonight. We're gonna go and celebrate with them and it's actually at the natural history museum they've hired it out which is going to be incredible like such a landmark and yeah it's just going to be basically loads of key brands there and other content creators and just a nice kind of evening to network which sometimes I feel like my introverted self doesn't do enough. So definitely getting out of my comfort zone and going to an event, which I haven't done in a while. But before I do, and before I get all glam and do all my campaigns and whatnot, I'm gonna give you a room tour because this room is amazing. Okay, last time I stayed here, I thought it was the most amazing hotel I've stayed in. And then it just gets better, guys. This room is huge. I think it's like three rooms or even four because basically you walk in here, there's like an entry hallway, there's a separate bathroom here, which I love because if you've got a couple and you wanna go and do your business in a separate loo, this is perfect for it. Just always love, love the interiors, the big sink, the mirror, the gold touches, chef's kiss with a marble. So this is a little loo room and then, this is a huge lounge area. Can we just appreciate this? It is massive. So this is like a chill out area. I believe that obviously the fireplaces don't work, but there is like a feature here with the TV and then the mini bar section. And you actually get like free water, um, soft drinks and beer, but I don't drink beer. So I'm just on the sparkling water at the minute. And I've got my Joe's Club sandwich to enjoy, but Let's just spin you around. Sorry if this is making you dizzy. Can we just appreciate there's a little kind of dining room here in the corner. I love the shape of this room and how they've done the paneling and the high ceilings and the arches. 
this is just a bit of me and then these are kind of like these distressed mirrors if you can see me here um, that run around so it obviously gives the illusion of the room being even bigger than it is then let me bring you around so there's a huge windows here I don't think you can actually go on the balcony I will try though because there is a bit of a balcony here whereas with the other room I stayed in you couldn't actually step onto it then you come through these double doors and this is a walk-in wardrobe with a huge window again I've just put my blazer on here for now so I'm going to unpack everything on here I've just realized as well there's a mat which is great I can maybe do a little stretch in the morning so there's some drawers and then I also like this feature I said to Chris when we do our wardrobe I want to do this a little light switch there as well and then this is the huge bedroom again another stunning fireplace the fact that they have these in most of the rooms is insane but can we just appreciate how they've done the interiors in here the curtains that drape the huge four poster bed oh my god this is heaven so this is the bedroom and then there's a little kind of a get ready with me area here which is perfect and there's another kind of corner here with this huge bathtub. How beautiful looking out over London with the little shutters. So I'm definitely gonna be enjoying this either later tonight or in the morning, probably in the morning, but this is just so lush. And then you come through, I've already had a little mooch. There's again, double doors leading into the big his and hers bathroom which is similar to the other one that I stayed in, but you can see obviously it's got the shower and the toilet room behind me, but it is huge. There is so much room for activities. I am just beyond grateful that they are hosting me tonight because this is such a luxury to stay here. I absolutely love this hotel. If you're ever in London, I couldn't recommend it enough. As soon as I checked in with my bags, they were so attentive, got me a glass of water straight away, checked me in straight away, early check-in. So you get the nice Kimpton Fitzroy robes as well, which I'll definitely be getting in later. But that is pretty much the room tour. So you've got the toilet room and then the big shower in here as well. But you can see from this view how big the room is and the tall ceilings. It's just stunning. And then you also get a Dyson fan. First things first, I needed to get myself a Joe's Club sandwich. I was clearly too impatient and I've already been into it but if you know you know how good these are and I'm so hungry right now this is gonna go down a treat I feel so weird just sitting at this table in this huge room eating on my own but I'm loving it my introverted self is thriving right now let's start to unpack <laughs> dress that I'm wearing tonight how beautiful I've gone for not a little black dress a big black dress it's got all these ruffles this kind of tall material so I actually rented this via her if you've been stuck around for a while you guys know I love to rent pieces I find it really good when you've got things like this like an occasion a gala a wedding and you want a little bit more of a dressed up outfit which you might not wear again and it's a lot more sustainable too so i thought this was a good option to rent for the gala rather than going out and buying a whole new dress for it and it's actually a sue lee dress i got a size uk6 so hopefully it'll fit i did kind of quickly try it on and then i'm gonna partner it with my trusty dior's so I'm thinking this and then maybe do a bow in my hair and some gold earrings or keep it quite minimal, maybe not the bow. I don't know if to have my hair up with it, have it maybe half up, half down, have it a little bit sleek. Now it's grown out a little bit, I feel like I can do more with it. So I'm going to hang this up nonetheless so it can kind of just sit before I get ready and glam later. And then I've brought a bunch of shoes because I'm actually working with Steve Madden and I'm going to show you these because I feel like this is the perfect season coming into spring I'm having to bend down really low here for ballet flats if you look at all my outfits I basically all I wear is ballet flats so they always sell out and Steve Madden have got such a good selection they've got this beautiful kind of Chanel dupe in the beige with the black toe obviously the um paper is still on this let me take it off so you can properly see 
I got a few different colorways because obviously I know I have my Chanel's and I wear them to death and also my Prada ones, but I thought it's also good to kind of have these because I don't want to wear them in too much, if that makes sense. Obviously they are getting their wear, but it's always good to have a backup pair. So I just thought these are brilliant. And if you're looking for a good, decent ballet flat, these are your babies. So I will link these down below. I got them in the cream. And then I also really wanted these because I wanted a pair that didn't have the black um, toe on them and they were just completely like a beige color. And I found these and I thought they were beautiful. A little bit more elegant, but these are just plain beige. And they've got the little bow and the gold details. But these are just like a soft ballet flat that will match with everything. Even today, just like a bodysuit, white jeans, blazer perfect so i got the beige the beige and the black and then they also have these ones obviously they've all still got their wrapper on in white so if you've got like a little white dress and it's not like warm enough yet to wear sandals which it's not going to be for a while let's not skip ahead these are the exact same ones in white as well so same as the beige how cute filmed one to go i'm having a diet coke break i really wish they had coke zero but you can't have everything there's something about like a 3 p.m coke zero slash diet coke needing and craving i love it obviously outfit change i've just got this cute little navy cardigan on i will link it down below as always it's actually from new look it's got these lovely gold details in the buttons as well. It's very much giving Mazuma Duty um, for like a fraction of the price. So a really nice one for spring. I've just paired it with white jeans and this is a look that I've just been shooting. But it takes it out of you doing <laughs> constant back to back campaigns and like coming up with the ideas and checking the briefs, making sure the angles are right, the lighting, how I'm gonna edit it. So I need to sit and edit now for a good few hours, but Chloe's gonna come. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna actually take this makeup off because I wanna do like full glam tonight and have like a fresh base. So I'm probably just gonna chill for a bit, finish this last campaign, edit, take my makeup off, and then basically gotta get all glam again. So I'll check in with you when Chloe's here. She's here. Here she is. Hello, hello, hello. She's Fancy headphones. Uh, they're Adam's, not gonna lie. Oh, I was gonna say. Camera this and how amazing is this room? Oh, like, as soon as I came in, I was like, I look weird to be here. <laughs> you don't. Like, the bag coming out of the bag. We're about to get glam, we're about this to get glam. She's been here two minutes and we've already ordered the bubbles. I'm a bad influence, I swear. Okay. We're recording live. Live. Hope we get a good satisfying pop. Why am I like not making this aesthetic? I'm trying so hard to make it aesthetic, but I'm also not doing justice. Let me go up a little bit. There we go. Me with my red rashy face. Honestly, the lighting's good though. Ah. Ooh. Ready? Ready, steady. I love it. Just got a little room service to go with the Prosecco. I got some broccoli. Chloe got smelly, smelly truffle. I hate truffle. My bad and I got the steaks, so we're just gonna eat at our little dining table area over here before we get ready. And I was explaining, I came out in that rash. Since I've taken my makeup off and used the towels, look what's happening. I'm going hot, rashy, something is up. And I'm wondering if it's to do with like the detergent because this is not right. And the exact same symptoms are happening when I started to burn up last time. So pray for me. I can hopefully cover this up with some glam. makeup and then I've just kind of put my hair in this like half up half down slicked it a little bit and done a bow 
and this is my makeup. I've done a lot of, I say a lot, <laughs> I've used a lot of YSL beauty products, which I'm loving at the minute. It's the bronzer, the Touche Clay, and then of course, my favorite perfume, YSL Libre. And this is a look, I've done little gold hearts. I've got my hourglass lip gloss on. I feel like the necklace is too much, so I've actually just put a little bit of like Charlotte Tilbury. It's the super model body. It gives like a little bit of a glimmer, shimmer. And this is the dress. I'll try and show you in the full mirror so you can see it before I go, but I actually really like this kind of all black number. You can maybe see it a little bit better here in the mirror. Your girl is glam on a Thursday night, which is not like me, but it feels nice. We've had a nice little get ready with me. We've had a little bottle, bu little bo of bubbles. It hasn't gone to my head too yet, but I'm gonna head down to the bar now. There's a lovely bar here. Have a little cocktail and then head over to the vent. We are running late as usual in Chloe style, but hopefully all will be okay. We're just having fun. We're just having a little bit of a girls' night. Really loving this dress, so definitely recommend renting if you've got any event or occasion coming up. It's just so much easier. So you've just come to the cocktail bar and they've got this cute menu. So basically you put this light and it comes up with a secret message. I'm not sure if it's shown up, but basically there's all different images and it's like the image that you gravitate to the most and then you go on it and you put the light on it and it's meant to come up with like the drink that is yours. It's not picking up a camera. But it's such like a fun way to do a cocktail menu and the bar is so lush. So just having a little cocktail before we head out. Which one are you going to Thank you. Thank you so much. We're just in the taxi on the way. We had a lovely little cocktail. I had espresso martini. You had like a mezcal, like a. That's like a mezcal one. passion fruit based cocktail. Mm. It was delicious. So we're very very late. Let's just fingers crossed. It's not my fault. <laughs> it was definitely your fault. <laughs> but it's always good to be fashionably late, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, one away now is the National History Museum, so I'm sure it's going to be absolutely beautiful. pajamas but it's actually such a nice touch we've come back to the room and they've done like a full turn down service which is what i love why don't you just come in home every day and everything's organized and it's not you <laughs> like fresh towels beds turned over slippers like all these little touches i think go so far so makeup is coming off this is my favorite part i've actually brought my elemis cleanser mom of course but they do these mini versions so i've got like my mini rose one so i'm going to take my makeup off with this and then i actually haven't introduced this to you guys i've got the new charlotte tilbury cleanser i've been using this for the past two days it's so good it comes out like a creamy formula and then like a milky formula and then it turns to foam so i obviously always double cleanse i use this and i'm going to use this tonight get my makeup off because obviously i've got a few of these kind of individual lashes on here let's get D-glam, get in my PJs and get a nice cup of tea and get all cozy.
day. I've been taking it really slow this morning. I've just been working from the bed. I've had breakfast in bed, as you can see. Chloe left quite early this morning. She had to get on with her day. So it's been quite nice having some time to myself. Last night was so fun, the museum was insane. We didn't end up getting back till quite late and then we had a delivery in bed, which was naughty, but I seriously missed having snog, the frozen yogurt. So I ended up ordering that and we were just chatting in bed last night. So feeling a little bit tired today, but I've pulled myself together. I've just really kind of done a no makeup makeup look. Cause you can see, I've still got this aftermath of the allergic reaction I've had and I still can't pinpoint it but I didn't want to put too much on my skin today but I'm just going to basically work on my laptop for the next hour, wrap up some work that I need to get done for the end of the week and then I'm going to go grab a coffee, go on a nice walk, it's actually such a lovely day in London today and walk it to my Pilates class. I've managed to book myself in last minute, I feel like I'm going to feel good for it, just stretch out my body sweat out any toxins of last night and have a little bit of refresh. So I'm gonna get an outfit on because I'm just currently still in my dressing gown. But my hair's actually pretty much lasted from my Dyson blowout yesterday, even though obviously I had it pinned up last night. So that's a result. So let's get ready for the day. I'm all packed up. I've got my Katie Loxton case and my Katie Loxton weekend bag because I had quite a lot to bring with me. So packed up, I'm gonna go check out and crack on with some work before I go to Pilates. I've just got my Adenola leggings on, bodysuit. I've also got my Adenola sports bra to put on underneath. Just quickly put my hair up, gonna put my trainers on, trench, and I'm good to go. I'm really sad to say goodbye to this room. It's been so beautiful, so checking out. I'm actually just round in this vlog off. I realised I didn't actually do an outro, but as you can see, I'm currently in the car. It's actually a few days later since I checked out the Kimpton. I had such a lovely stay. I always love staying at that hotel. It's just like a lovely luxury escape from London and I highly recommend staying there if you are ever in London and visiting. But I am currently now in the taxi on the way to the airport for a very exciting shoot. And this is something that I've been working on now behind the scenes for the past year and I'm so excited to share it with you so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it all I'm gonna be vlogging everything catching you guys up and sorry we were under a tunnel then and it went really dark and loud but yeah I'm gonna be catching you guys all after that I come back I have I think it's a few days to a week and then I fly out to South Africa which is gonna be insane as well so there's a lot going on at the minute very exciting things and can't wait to bring you all along and I just wanted to also end the vlog and say thank you for 100k subscribers on here this is such an amazing milestone that I've wanted to hit and it's all down to you guys so thank you for following along thank you for your support your comments your love your shares on Instagram I see it all and it is honestly always appreciated I'm very grateful because I would not be able to do these opportunities like I'm doing right now it wasn't for you guys and follow me on obviously my other socials as well so I just wanted to say thank you and I'm very happy to be on this new milestone and grow in this YouTube family and there's lots of exciting things to come so hopefully you enjoyed this vlog please do like if you do and I'll be back very soon with some exciting content to come